So a little yamcha situation and some YouTubes to start off my Saturday morning. Bing! Because I can't not finish it. Okay, but what I actually really wanted to do today was clean up a bunch of my clothes. And when I say clean, I mean like literally clean. Okay, that is my laundry. Do you see the extent of my laundry right there? That's so embarrassing. And this is my mess of a room because I am trying to sort this all out. <laughs> um, but as well as sell a bunch of stuff. So I already have a lot of things that I've put away that I'm either going to take to like Buffalo Exchange or, you know, thrift stores and sell it through there. But the only thing is I hate waiting for like an hour for them to call my name. So I might actually just use my Poshmark app. A lot of the things in my closet I don't actually wear. They're just kind of there and I just need to get rid of it. You know when you hold on to clothing items that you haven't worn for years but you just think you might need it but in reality, you never really do. <laughs> like, I have this Prada wallet that I really want to sell, and I have been kind of putting it off, but I think it's time to let it go. It'll be better in the hands of another person who can appreciate its size. But yeah, just things like that. I'm gonna clear out a bunch of stuff and clean out my closet, as Eminem said. <laughs> So this is the wallet here. This is my baby that I've had for a really long time. It's kind of like this shiny Safiano leather. So it's got the classic kind of Prada logo. And then it's just got the gold detailing. So you open it up like this. It's like the card slot. So one, two, three, four. And then it's the same on the other side as well. Movie pass. Shame on you! Oh yeah, guys, this is what Australian money looks like. Isn't it so pretty compared to like friggin' American money, which is so nasty. This is our five dollar note. This is our ten dollar note. Who these people are, I have no idea. Oh, what are these? Oh, these are my sisters. Yeah. Oh, that's my ex. And this is my dad and my sisters. So I'm the oldest. And then in the middle is a coin thing. So anyway, I'll put this on my store on Poshmark if you're interested. But it's my baby. And then another set of items are these Nike Thea's that I got maybe a year and a half ago or something. I'll show you what it looks like. They're just like really streamlined, really basic. My mirror is dirty. I don't really like wearing black sneakers. They're kind of just cut off my body and make me look kind of shorter, especially because my legs are like a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna put this up on the app. If you guys are interested in like any of the items that <laughs> I show you that I'm gonna sell, you can go and download the Poshmark app and look through all my pieces. It's like free for anyone to download, so you can just run along and do that. I'm trying to help myself decide on what to sell, what I actually need. I'm kind of approaching it like, have I worn it in the last three months or maybe two months? And if not, then that's kind of like a question, okay, maybe I should sell it. And it's also because living in the city, as you can tell, I just don't have a lot of room to just keep like storing and buying and storing. This is also a good way just to like, you know, capsule closet. That's basically what I've been trying to train myself to do. Just only buying essentials, buying pieces that I can mix and match in any type of season. They're all complementary, but it doesn't look the same every time you wear it. If you pair it with something new, it looks like a completely different outfit. Another piece I think I'm going to sell, these culottes from Forever 21, and I wore it twice. These are kind of like the spontaneous purchases that I kind of wish I wasn't so spontaneous on, but they're really comfy. It's navy blue, and it's got these checkered, large, thin checks. And it really goes with everything. I just find that they're just a little bit off for my body shape. This color is very versatile, but I'm also going to put this on my store as well. This denim shirt or like over shirt I've had since I was 17. So that was eight years ago. This thing has stayed with me for eight years. And it's because I can wear it with anything. On days that I don't know what I want to wear, I can just wear this shirt alone. Yeah, so they can be mixed and matched with anything. I also have a lot of these like pants 
they're not jeans, they're just, what do you call them, like slacks or cigarette pants. I basically live off these navy pinstripe one that I got from Bershka. I have this houndstooth one that I got from Zara a really long time ago. Oh my god, I look like such a struggle. That's not look like such a struggle. So you might think I like buy a lot of clothes or I get sent a lot of clothes, but the things that I actually wear, I've had for like 10 years. I'm just a simple person. <laughs> I also have a lot of white linen shirts. I feel like you can never get enough white linen shirts, you know? Some are oversized, some are more fitted. For a kind of capsule closet, I also really like stripes because they're casual, but you can also make it a little bit more dressed up by like putting on a leather jacket over it or a blazer. And then you can still wear it with like jeans and put on some fancy looking shoes and it looks heightened. That's also an essential piece that you can also get anywhere and it's like it can be really affordable. Okay, so now I'm just organizing like because you know how during the week you just kind of like stuff things in random places because you just cannot deal. <laughs> By the end of the week, I think my little cupboard situation gets truly mestified. And so I'll just show you how I kind of organize my stuff. This is just like all my undergarments. And then this one is where I keep all my like basic kind of singlets. So this is all the black t-shirts, black tank tops, black everything. And then on here is like the like white tank tops that I wear under chiffon tops and nude ones and things like that. So that's all just kind of basic. This is what I need to work on. It's basically all my t-shirts, graphic t-shirts, college shirts. And then these are like long sleeve. And then what we're going to be moving into are my sweaters. Because I have a lot of like pinky neutrals as well as like greys and things like that, I like to just keep them in their specific color palette and it goes like really deep down so I have to organize this and then at the bottom I just like all my jeans and things like that and then these ones are just basically like my denim my white collared shirts and then here I like to hang all my pants these are normally a little bit more orderly and then these are just some more jackets, bomber jackets, and leather jackets. And then in the winter, out in the hallway, we have another closet. And this is where I keep all my winter jackets, which is looking a little bit struggle. Yeah, the bigger coats that actually, like, keep me warm. And this is my mess of a room, because I am trying to sort this all out. So as you can tell, there is really not much room at all living in a New York apartment. You really have to like be organized with your space and prioritize what it is that you actually need. And it's getting to the point where it's like, it's just so, like I can't even look at it. Like under my desk is just all these boxes of products that I haven't used or tried. Because it's so messy, I can't even deal. This is the first step into spring cleaning, I guess you can call it. What I'm trying to do now is to just color coordinate it all. So by the time I finish with this, I want them to all be in their separate color. Oh, and also, I got these off Amazon. They're just those cedar wood blocks. And also this, just so like moths don't attack my cashmere. So I just keep those in every single drawer. So I just want to organize all this. So it's like easier when I know what color I want to pair with something, I'll just like reach for it. Okay, so these are all the pinks and they're gonna go in here. Now moving on to neutrals. Normally these are the items that I choose to invest more in. Like they're fully cashmere or like some sort of cashmere blend. Wool is a little bit less soft to, 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 to touch. I really love Club Monaco knits as well as this Vince sweater which is kind of like oversized. It's more grey even though like to some people they might look the same. But they're very different. And then I'll tend to wear a lot of like gray, blue, and then also obviously staple whites. 
So if you know like the color coordination, I think it's a little bit easier to think of something, know that you want to wear it, and then you know exactly where to find it. With the whites, I like to kind of stand them up like this, and it's a little bit easier to see, because if everything's like laying flat, it's very hard to like look through it. This is what we have so far. These are most of my sweaters, so under here is it goes from dark grey to navy to blue and then really pastel blue. Here are just some browns to just neutral and then we have all the pinks and then some of the whites. Okay, so finally finished like organizing. Now I'm going to, what do you call it? The container store or maybe Bed Bath & Beyond. This is the current state of all the products. Right now, I just like can't even look at this. In the container <laughs> store. I'm currently trying to decide on which container. This one, this one. Don't or, worry, we have all night. All night. We have long. all night. Let's see which one's gonna be the lucky one. <laughs> all night long. All night. No, because I don't know if I have space, that's the thing. And I also don't wanna see all the stuff like hanging out. This is a difficult decision. It was also $40. Back from the container store and I got one of these to see how it will stack all this crap under my table. So I think it will be better. These are all products, these are products, and these are all products. Facial treatment. Korean toners, face masks. Oh my god, look how cute this 3CE packaging is. So the goal is to get rid of everything I don't need. This box, I'm gonna put all my like kind of sample or like on the go type of thing so if i travel or anything i'll just reach for here but all the like full size items that i have to try i'll put in here by the way have any of you tried this glow pro at home micro needling tool i really want to try because i know micro needling is like the new thing but i'm like petrified to try it myself so if you guys have let me know I even have this that I've never used, but I think this is more of like a winter scent, so maybe I'll start using the Tom Ford Orchid. Okay, so this is looking a little better. This is all like everything that's still unused in boxes. I think makeup might go in this box. So does that fit? Oh my god, does it fit? No! Look how cute this little gel moisturizer is. So that can go there on top of its mum. Yeah, it's like Jenga. This is actually sake, but I don't drink, but it's like really pretty. So maybe I'll just like gift it to someone or something. Put it in here. So these boxes are really nice, but they're just like space consuming. How cute are these little Korean creams? Might not seem like a lot, but in real life, this is everything that I'm throwing out. And they're all just like boxes and stuff that was just taking up space in my room. So it feels so good. And this, this bag is huge. Cleaning done. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I just wanted to show you what the updated kind of tray looks like. And I guess I'll kind of just go through some of the products that I'm going to start using or that's in my like to use list. This is not sponsored by the way, but I just went to an event for Crave Beauty. I'll show you guys. So this is everything, I guess, one of them for now. I have to get another one on the other side for like more makeup and more skincare. But how I did it is kind of divided it by brands. So on this side and underneath are all the Drunk Elephant stuff. And then these are the Crave Beauty. This is the Kayla Luya AHA Toner. And it looks like this. The packaging is so cute. And actually the event I went to yesterday or the day before. Getting ready. Okay guys, this is how you look tall in photos. Down, stand, suck it, yeah! <laughs>
my friend Leah actually like owns it. She started it. It's her baby and she has two of these products which is the matcha hemp cleanser which I really love. It's like jelly texture but how cute is this packaging? Oh and she just came out with a sunscreen which is actually not available in the US yet. I think it's like only in Korea but this is specially I guess. So this is really exciting. Make sure you guys show her some love and then under here is all the pharmacy stuff. I have bought pharmacy stuff on my own. The honey mask as well as the face mask. I'm currently using their eye cream. It's very hydrating, it's very nourishing, but there's a lot more to try. Like the vitamin C mask that changes color, like you apply it and it's purple and then it turns green. So that's pretty exciting. And then here are some Innisfree kind of stuff, mud masks. In the back is all Derma-E. I have some Arborian, some L'Occitane back there. Oh, this also came in the goodie bag yesterday. It's the Briogeo Scalp Revival. I actually tried this when I was on the train after the workout because the event was really fun. It was at Uplift Studios, which is like this. We thought it was yoga, but it was definitely not yoga. It was high intensity workout for one hour. It was really cool. After the workout, I was a hot mess and actually had to go to my friend's farewell that day. So I needed to like unoil my roots. So you twist this cap and then you kind of push the powder in. So this is really travel friendly and I really like the smell. I have some Origins. I really love Origins. Oh, this is the charcoal honey mask for purifying and nourishing. It's kind of like metallic almost. I don't know if you can see it. This one's really good. I love the texture of it when it dries. And then this is their overnight AHA mask. I really love this. Some more things that I'm going to add into here are the Bliss skincare. So this is the whipped mask. I haven't tried this yet. Might even try it tonight. Also all their little cleansing sticks. This is the charcoal one. I don't like using these type of cleansers. And there's also these two here. This is the olive oil foaming cleanser, gentle polishing cleanser. I just don't like cleansers in a stick. Also the Origin Chuckle Mask Clear Pores. Oh my god, I need to use this tonight. So for those of you who are interested in this, I wouldn't recommend it if you haven't tried any AHA or chemical exfoliating products because it is quite intense because it is 25% AHA. It will like burn your face. I recommend start off with a lower percentage AHA, maybe start off with a toner. So anyway, I'm just gonna take some photos of more clothes that I found yesterday and today that I'm gonna sell. So yeah, make sure you download the app. It's free for anyone, Poshmark. You can sift through like bags, shoes, clothes of different brands from high end to low end. So that's all there and I'll leave all the details for you in the description as always. Hopefully you found some sort of inspiration in my very casual tidying up type video. <laughs> I still have a bunch of laundry to do, but I'm going to do that now. Everyone knows what laundry is like. I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching as usual. Hope it wasn't too boring and I'll see you in a very, very soon video. That doesn't make sense. Oh, and leave any questions that you have below. I already asked a question on Instagram if there's anything about life moving, New York City, fashion, beauty that you want to hear. And I'm going to make a whole video just dedicated to answering you guys' questions about that. So yeah, thank you so much. Bye!